Good afternoon, Scarview 195, Aladino's Toro. Six inch, 50 ring gauge, Honduran Puro. Which is just a fancy way of saying it was completely made in Honduras. So wrapper, binder, filler, all Honduran made with, I believe, Cuban Corojo seed that, of course, was grown in Honduras, made by JRE Tobacco. Um, I have no complaints about it whatsoever, besides maybe the price. Um, but I initially got these fantastic notes of cream brulee. Not really a lot of chocolate, mostly kind of cream, a little bit of salt. Just when someone talks about creamy cigar, to me, this would be it. A little bit of coriander slides in there uh, and then transitions into just grass for a second. Now, sometimes you'll see cigars that weren't fermented all the way have a little bit of grass notes. It wasn't that. It wasn't, you know, a green cigar type of note. Then I actually got a tiny bit of like blackberry jam. I was reading some other tasting notes and I saw cedar and citrus pop up. Now, the interesting thing about the brain is that as soon as it hears stuff like that, you're gonna start tasting it. it you, it's almost inevitable. So I try to do my own tasting before I read someone else's. But of course, now that they said, you know, cedar and citrus, I get both of it. Now, there are some notes where someone said, yes, yeah, cigar tastes like, you know, licking a hot plate. I, I'm not gonna get that, right? I'm, there's things I'm never gonna get out of the cigar. But, I can see the cedar, I can certainly see the citrus, especially in the back third, but really it's just a good creamy cigar. So good in fact that it was number 18 in the world in 2019. The Toro was 18 in the world in 2019, that's the exact same size. And it's about $10 a cigar. So to me, that, that's pretty good. Now, when you get into that $10 neighborhood, it's really the most interesting price point for me buying cigars. Because when you hit that $10 mark, to me, it better, it better be good. And it oftentimes should be exceptional. Now, excluding overpriced Cuban cigars, when you get to $15, that's when I expect to have just absolute knockouts every time. But when you get in the $10 neighborhood, it, it should perform. And this to me performs as well as some $15 cigars. If you have $10 to spend on a cigar, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's fantastic. I always evaluate on how does it draw. Great draw. Tons of smoke and it burns perfectly evenly. And what's interesting is it was, it was, it's windy out here. It was burning kind of unevenly for a second and then it completely corrected itself. Or rather I kind of licked it for a second and that corrected it. But no problems with anything here. Nothing I would really complain about whatsoever. And it is hard to describe cigar taste, but one thing about this cigar in particular, it's, and I don't want to use the phrase full body because I feel like that's overused, but really there, there's a lot going on here. It's big, rich mouthfuls of smoke. It's just a really good cigar. Top quality. Absolutely love it. So that's, that's it guys. Cigar Review 195, the Aladino Toro. Not one that I really see a ton of. Um, so if you've had it, please let me know what you think. It seems to be very popular. And I actually just got a little bit of pipe tobacco there at the end. So there we go. Even more flavors. As always, guys, thank you for watching.